of Christmas has come and gone, and now retailers are getting ready for those gift returns and all the exchanges. Local 5's John Dommel live now at Bay Park Square Mall with how some businesses are handling this post-Christmas rush. John. Tom, when it comes to returns, I found out that it really boils down to the individual store and actually, believe it or not, our state's athletics. Each of Wisconsin's sports teams have has seen success this year and that's created more post-Christmas sales. Typically, that post-Christmas business comes from people spending money they got from family and work bonuses over the holiday and it ebbs and flows differently every year. About 8 in 10 consumers are expected to return at least one of their gifts this year, according to an online study from Oracle. But but undoubtedly, with Christmas sales come Christmas returns. When people come in carrying a bag, you kind of hold your breath. When they walk in the door and you think, you know, you just hope, hopefully they want to exchange it for something or maybe they, you know, they, they just want to get a gift card or something. But, uh, you know, again, that's, returns are part of retail um, and you, you, you do what you have to do in those situations. And outside of returns and exchanges, retail sales this holiday period have actually seen an increase of about 3%. Reporting live in Ashwaubenon, John Dommel, Local 5 News.